Um, so we're going to do some easy to do rolled out some uh, so, brown modeling paste or sugar paste that I think is enough. Yes, more than enough to cover the base. So I'm going to glue this base with, of course, CMC or Tylos water. So I'm just gonna brush the plate with this. Very good. And I'm gonna place this on top. This is an excellent thing to do with any of your cakes plates because that way you will have quite a finished design. It looks, it looks awesome. So looks after the board is covered, I'm gonna turn it around and using the pizza cutter, I'm gonna trim all the excess that I have here. in this side so I'm just gonna pass this again okay good turn it over again and I have it hold I'm just gonna uh, pull down this with my fingers so you won't see much of the even though you can see it because this is very thin but uh, you don't see much of the silver design underneath just Using your finger, pull this down, pass it around. Okay, there you go. So for the wooden effect, I'm just going to mark some lines in here and I'm going to be using, um, let me see, this, this tool, okay, this tool to mark it. So I'm gonna start with one in the middle More or less, more or less one centimeter, maybe more. I'm gonna keep marking the lines. the other side Now I'm going to give, I'm going to mark some lines uh, in the other direction, but they're not going to be um, all over. It's going to be like alternated. For example, if I have one here, this first stripe here, the next one is going to be up here. Okay, maybe another one here. This will go back to the middle this here. If you see a wooden floor, the, um, the joint, the, how do you call it, the joint junctions, the, the two lines get together, the joints are not all at the same place. Actually here, for example, I have these two here, so maybe this one I will move it over a little bit. This one here, maybe this one here. Okay, and I'm just gonna press around again the other lines very carefully. So you know I can mark better the lines. Right, and 
middle of this one. Okay, good. And in here. Okay. So now, this is this side of this tool. In the other side, we have this that looks like a like a shell, but you have this little tiny things here on top. Here. So I'm going to use this side because this is the side is uh, smooth. This side has all the markings. So I'm going to use this side and I'm going to brush all the way around, always in the same direction. I'm going to brush the sugar paste to give the idea of the veins of the wood. Now, sometimes some of the veins of the woods have some curves. So in one or two of the of the part of, of the wood, I'm going to just make a little curve to one side and continue down, and maybe a little curve to the other side and continue down. See here? I'm gonna do that here again, maybe. A little curve down, a little curve to the other side and down, maybe another curve in here and here, maybe another curve in here and here, and maybe brush it again, just to smooth it around. Did you see, see the curves there? Good. So that's a very easy way to make a wooden floor.